I would normally have this with beer, but I guess three hoss will do. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -mm. Mm. Simply crunchy. Awesome! I'm in Korean heaven. <laughs> Cheers, guys. One more bite for the crunch. Mm. You guys should try this out at home. Simply awesome. Mm. Here I have 900 grams of chicken drumsticks. To this I have added one chicken breast. The drumsticks are cut further into smaller pieces and the skin is being removed. You can keep the skin on if you like. I've cut them into smaller pieces that they fry well. For the marination, we will need half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, one inch of grated fresh ginger, and one egg. I'm going to use my hands to mix it up well. We will leave this for marination for around one hour. For best results, you can marinate this and keep it overnight. For the flour mixture, we need 3 4th cup of potato starch. If you don't have potato starch, you can use cornstarch. 1 cup of wheat flour. 2 teaspoons of onion powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Mix this up well. Now, the taste of your chicken highly depends on the powder mixture. So to make your powder mixture or your flour mixture more tasty, you can add in condiments as per your choice. Now I'm going to separate 3 4 cup of this flour mixture and add it into another bowl. Out of this we will make a batter to dip the chicken. So let's add some water into it. Let's add water little by little to make a thick batter. I have added half a cup of water to make a thick batter. Now that our batter is ready, we are going to dip in the chicken. Let's dip the chicken in the batter. And then drop it in the flour, nicely coat it. And keep it aside. Now that the chicken is well coated, let's heat up the oil. If you have a cooking thermometer at home, the oil temperature should reach around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If not, you can dip in the chicken and your oil should bubble. Now that you see the oil bubbling, you can drop in the chicken. Let the chicken cook for approximately 10 minutes till light golden brown. Make sure you don't overcrowd your vessel. Fry them in batches. It's been around 6 minutes now and the chicken looks nice and golden brown. 
let's remove it out and keep it aside for draining. We're not done yet. You need that crunch in your Korean fried chicken. You need to double fry it. Yes, you heard that right. Double fry it. So let's do it. You know it's done when you tap, tap, tap and you hear that crunch. Can you hear it? Here we have one tablespoon of oil on the pan. We will add in around four to five cloves of garlic. Fry it for a minute or so. Now that our garlic is nice and fragrant, we will add two tablespoons of gochujang. Gochujang is a Korean red pepper sauce. Look at this color. So in goes two tablespoons of this. One fourth cup of soya sauce. One fourth cup of honey. One teaspoon of honey mustard. Mix this up well till it's nice and glossy. This smells delicious and it's going to taste even more better when the chicken is all coated with this. You can see the sauce getting thicker. Now that our sauce is ready, I'm going to add in the fried chicken. And we're going to toss this well. Toss the chicken well. Sprinkle it with some sesame seeds. And we are ready to eat.